and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the new Wet n Wild Flight of Fancy box. Now this box comes with pretty much the entire collection aside from like another lip scrub, scrub flavor and a lip gloss I believe. But yeah, so today we're going to be reviewing everything that comes in this box. You get three eyeshadows, four lip glosses, three blaked, blaked, three baked blushes, two eyeliners, one setting spray, and a lip scrub. So if you want to see what I think about this whole set, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So starting off with the baked blushes, the first shade that I have here is called Hummingbird Hype, and it is this really pretty gold color. Um, th these remind me of their highlighters. They look the same, um, so I'm pretty sure that when I put them on, they're going to have a sheen. Um, but they're really pretty. It has a raised hummingbird on the um, packaging and I just think that it is really pretty. So this is the first gold shade. The next shade we have is called Don't Flutter Yourself. And this is more of a rose gold shade. It's very pretty. Also has the same hummingbird embossing on the packaging. And it is super duper pretty. And then the last shade is called Dare to Soar and this is a more magenta pink and I think that this color is going to be really pretty for a woman of deeper skin tone um, just because it just adds something to the melanin. It just does something. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like on my skin tone. So moving on into eyeshadows, the first quad that we have is called Flock Party and it is this more neutral tone with a pop of a purple palette pop a purple and gold palette and so you have your warm brown transition shade your icy kind of champagne brow bone highlight your gold crease color and your um more magenta lid color now one thing i like about wet n wild's eyeshadow palettes is it kind of guides you as to where you should put your colors at so it tells you transition brow bone crease and lid but you can totally mix it up and do whatever you want to do Next eyeshadow palette is called Stop Ruffling My Feathers and this is the really basic kind of neutral toned palette. You have your brown transition color, a really like icy pink brow bone highlight, a copper crease color, and a more rose gold eyelid color. And just like the other palette, you can totally mix up and switch up the colors to do whatever kind of look you want to do. The third palette is the Off the Costa Baby Eyeshadow Palette, and this is the more fun palette. You have your neutral transition shade, a more taupey, kind of goldy brow bone highlight, a purple crease color, and a teal lid color, and this, this palette is so much fun. This is the palette that my eye instantly gravitated towards once I opened up the package, and I could not wait to play around with the colors in here. Next up we have the Color Icon Lip Glosses and these glosses are um, really pretty. Um, you have a more terracotta orange shade right here and this is called Pout of Paradise. Then you have your more peachy pink nude shade right here and this is called Featherless. You have a pinky nude shade and this is called Fly Gal. And then you have a more berry toned color called don't wait no shut the fuck up which is a really funny play on words but these are the four glosses and then next in the kit you have two mega liner liquid liners and this green one is in the shade winged and wild and the gold one is called is in the shade gilded wings now as you can see as this one the green one dries down it's more of an olive color whereas when i looked at the packaging I thought it was going to be a more vibrant green color and then the gold shade it definitely applies kind of streaky so this is something that you would have to maybe do two layers on in order to get the full opacity of the gold. Next we have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray and this spray is just going to set your makeup in place. If your makeup's looking a little bit too cakey or powdery you can definitely just go ahead and spritz your face with this. Um, it does have a really nice mister on here, so it's nothing that's going to drench your face in water. So, yeah. And then next you have the Pout Perfect Lip Scrub. This is in the flavor Watermelon, and this is just going to ensure that your lips don't look crusty and dusty and the lip glosses apply 
well to them. So I have created a look using all of the products in here. Well, not all of the products, but at least one product from each category. So if you want to go ahead and see how I got this look right here, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into the pink shade from the Flock Party palette. And I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Packer brush that comes in her palettes. Dip my brush into the pink. And then I'm going to go ahead and spritz my brush with some Fix Plus so that way we can get the maximum pigmentation. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on my eye. Now these shades, these shimmer shades are super pretty wet. I have tried to apply them without any Fix Plus or any sort of torp. Oh my gosh, I can't type. Top. Any type of setting spray. But they just uh, not going to work. So this is just going to go all over my lid. Next for the brow bone, I'm going to go ahead and dip into the Stop Ruffling My Feathers palette. And I think I'm going to mix these two shades together for my brow bone highlight. So this is the brow bone and eyelid color. This is more of a champagne color and this is obviously more of a pinky champagne color. I'll go ahead and put both of those on this little brush. So when I dip into this, not a lot of pigment comes off. So I feel like I'm going to have to like really dig my brush into there. And even when I do, I do get a lot of fly away kick up so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my brow bone one thing I will say that because these palettes don't really have any transition shades for people of darker skin tones um, let me hook them all up together it is kind of limited on the shades that I can use um, so these Right off the bat, I can tell you that these aren't going to be like something that I gravitate towards when I'm looking to do an eyeshadow look. Um, the pink is really pretty. I'm going to try and blow the pink out just a little bit more so that way it's not so concentrated on the lid. So I'm just going to take my Morphe um, RG39 R39 brush and I'm going to dip into the pink and try and get as much pigment as I can. And then I'm going to go into the eye look and I'm going to diffuse the edges just a little bit. I just really want this look to be kind of blown out. And fun. I know it looks crazy now, but like I reassure you, it'll look better once we get like lashes and eyeliner on. So... And then we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. And then I'm just going to pick up that transition shade again. And I'm going to go in between the two colors to kind of blend them together. So now that we kind of have the eye look on top done, I'm going to go ahead and do my face off of camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have most of my face and my eyes done, now I'm going to move to the lower lash line. And so I'm actually going to line my lower lash line in this blue um, pencil. This is from LA Girl and it's the Glide On Gel Liner Pencil Liner. And this is in the shade Mermaid Blue. It's just this really pretty aqua blue color. So this is going to go directly in my waterline. Actually, I'm going to warm it up just a little bit because it's a little bit hard. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in my waterline. So now that I have that on my waterline, I'm going to dip into the Asa La Costa Baby palette. Let me not drop it. And I'm going to use this blue shade and I'm going to run it underneath my waterline. The shade is super pretty, goes on really pigmented without 
having any like fix plus or setting spray on it. And that blue eyeliner is just gonna really make sure that the um, blue shadow pops as I put it on. So that is what it looks like. I am in love with it. It is so vibrant. This blue is so good, you guys. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my bottom lashes by adding some mascara. So now next we're gonna go ahead and move into blush and highlight. So in the kit that I got, as you saw earlier, I got these three blush shades. These are the Baked Blush. Um, they kind of look like they remind me of the highlighters, but anyway, I think I'm gonna stick with the two pinkier shades just because it kind of ties in with the theme that we have going on with our eyes. So the lighter pink, pink shade, the lighter pink shade is called Don't Flutter Yourself. And then the darker pink shade is called Dare to Soar. So for my actual blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Dare to Soar. So it's the brighter, more vibrant pink shade. And this is gonna act as my blush. I'm going light-handed with this and tapping off the excess because this is a very, very pink shade and I don't wanna look too crazy. And then I'm just dabbing it on. So that is really pretty it does have a sheen to it which is like eh, like I could do without the sheen because I don't want my cheeks to be like super shiny but it's nothing too off-putting and since it does have this sheen it does highlight some texture so I have like a little blemish right here I don't know if you can see that but I have a blemish right here and then I actually have a scar right here a little cut and it is highlighting that just a little bit so that is something to keep in mind when you are purchasing these. If you don't have texture, obviously it's not gonna matter to you, but if you do, that is something that you wanna definitely look out for. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Don't Flutter Yourself, it is the brighter pink color, and I'm gonna use my Morphe R36 highlighting brush, and I am just gonna dip my brush into that, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. So this color is perfect for if you are a woman of color just because it has that really pretty rosy pink undertone so this side is without any like setting spray or anything and then for this side I'm gonna go ahead and use the photo focus primer water spray that also comes in the kit and I'm gonna spray this side and then I'm gonna apply the highlighter and see if that makes a difference if it's more blinding if it's more pigmented so I'm just gonna spray this side the pump on this is actually pretty nice so that's something that's like bonus little brownie points right there because and we're going over that oh yeah that does make a difference it's a lot more pigmented so this almost has the same formula as their highlighters which is something that i like so I'm actually going to go ahead and spray this side and apply more highlight. And then let's dip back into the highlighter, tap off the excess, and get to highlighting. So there's that. We are all highlighted, lit from with in this these blushes are really 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 pretty and versatile you can use them for blush or highlight i would definitely recommend these and also the primer spray is really good the spray on it is really nice it it gives out a fine mist so it's not like you're literally like drenching yourself in water it actually comes out in a a way that's not going to ruin your makeup. So now we're moving on to lips and in the kit they give you a wet n wild lip scrub. This is the perfect pout lip scrub and I got it in the flavor watermelon and so since my lips are kind of dry I'm going to go ahead and pop this on my lips. I need to open it first. Gotta open it. There we go. I haven't smelled this. Oh it smells like like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, it smells really good and it's super vibrant, super pretty, pretty color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some out 
and pop some on my lips. And it tastes really good too, just to let you know. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a paper towel and wipe off the excess and eat it off too, because it tastes really good, you guys. Oh my goodness, it literally tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. So next up is lip glosses, and there are these four beautiful shades right here. So we have a pinky, like peachy nude, a more orange, burnt orange gloss, a berry gloss, and then a pinky nude. So I think I'm actually gonna use, so I think I'm gonna mix these two together because I feel like this is gonna be a little bit dark, but obviously we'll see once we get it on our lips. But I am gonna go ahead and start with that one. So this is in the shade, this purple one is in the shade Shut the Pluck Up, which is a super cute play on words. So this is going to go on my lips. So this is just one layer, it kind of gives you just a wash of color which is really pretty, but I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and maybe build it up so you get the full opacity of the color. So this is layer two. So it does give you a little bit more color, which is actually really pretty. Um, I don't think that I need to add the lighter color. Um, they don't feel sticky, they actually do really feel kind of comfortable on the lips, which is something that I was a little bit worried about because a lot of times when you can get glosses, sorry I'm taking the thing off, but a lot of times when you get glosses from the drugstore, they do feel kind of sticky front and like when you go to purse your lips together and open them back up, you get the the strings of gloss, but that did, that's not happening with this gloss and I actually really enjoy how it feels on the lip. Alright, so it is time for my final thoughts and opinions on the whole Flights of Fancy collection by Wet n Wild. So let's go ahead and start off with the setting spray. Setting spray is great, it does its job, the mist on here is really fine. Let me go ahead and kind of show you what it looks like, I don't know if you can see that. But it's super fine, so it's not going to be anything that's going to completely drench your face. Um, and it's not going to be like you're splashing a bucket of water on your face. So love that. That gives a thumbs up. Next, the Lip Scrub in Watermelon is really great. It does its job, serves, it serves its purpose. It gets rid of the dead skin that's on my lips. And it smells so freaking good. It smells like Watermelon Jolly Ranchers, which I am in love with. And it tastes good too. It tastes like Watermelon Jolly Ranchers as well. So this gets a thumbs up as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyeshadow quads. Now, these eyeshadow quads, while they are pretty and they do look very pretty, I will say that in terms of the transition shades, they are not one of color friendly. Even the darkest one in here is still a little bit ashy and a little, like it looks good in the pan, but when you put it on your eye, it just looks really ashy. Um, the pink, I did have a little bit of a hard time trying to get the color from off of the pan, so I kind of had to like rub my brush in it to get any kind of pigment. Um, and then the blue in this palette was actually very, like it did very well. Um, one thing I will say is it is kind of crumbly, but the pigmentation is there, the quality of it is there, and it is smooth once you put it on your eye. So these. They're, they're okay I won't reach for them but if you're definitely on a budget and you want to go ahead and pick these up I will suggest to pick them up but they're just not my favorite next up their color icon baked blushes now these are very pretty they do remind me of their highlighters um, just in the sense that they do kind of have a sheen to them so if you are the type of person that doesn't want a sheen to their blushes I would not recommend these um, because they do kind of pick up on any sort of um, blemish or imperfection on your face and they will highlight it because they do have a sheen but I will say this color here this is the no not this one this color here this is the shade dare to soar this is really pretty on deeper skin tones and then this one is also pretty as a highlight and this is the shade don't flutter yourself which is the lighter pink shade um, I haven't had a chance to use this one but I mean I'm pretty sure it's going to be great as well. Next up are the two eyeliners that came into the kit. Now, while I did not use these 
on my eyes I did swatch these and these were and eh, these are okay this color dries down to a pretty olive matte color as you probably saw in the swatches and this one just doesn't do it for me it's a little bit streaky and it's not opaque so um, I don't think that I will really gravitate towards these Wet n Wild does have really good eyeliners. I have the purple and the blue one, and it's in the same type of packaging, same type of um, applicator tip, and the color is really, really, really opaque in those, but this, these ones just kind of fell flat for me. Next are the Color Icon Liquid, not liquid, lip glosses, and these are really good. These are not sticky when you put them on. They feel really comfortable on the lips. Um, they're not going to have the longest wear time just because they are kind of cheaper, and they do kind of rub off, and they are a gloss. Glosses don't have long wear time, but they are pretty for the price, and I would definitely recommend you go ahead and get these if you're looking for a gloss, but you're not wanting to spend too much money. All right, everyone, so that is it for my review slash demo on the Wet n Wild Flight of Fancy box, and if you like what you saw, please go ahead and hit the like button, and please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so make sure you check back. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.